Nous avons aujourd'hui des membres du Parlement, du Bloc québécois, du Nouveau Parti démocratique. Les, partis, les, membres, les membres du Parti libéral, ils s'étaient trop occupés aujourd'hui pour venir, c'est ce qu'ils nous ont dit. Puis je vais vous présenter le chef du Nouveau Parti démocratique, M. Jacques Layton. Mes chers confrères, consoeurs, nous sommes ici en solidarité et je vous présente Paul Dewar, notre porte-parole en matière des affaires étrangères, puis Pierre Ducasse, euh, ancien vice-président euh, président associé de notre parti et maintenant candidat dans la circonscription de, de Hall Elmer. On apprend de, tous les jours, on a les, les nouvelles non seulement tristes, mais terrible, qui vient de Colombie. Les milliers de personnes qui, qui ont été déplacées dans une façon tout à fait inacceptable. Des gens, des vrais leaders dans leur communauté, des leaders des syndicats, des leaders des communautés autochtones, qui sont tués dans une façon qui représente une approche d'un gouvernement qui rejette les droits de la personne, la justice, l'égalité, toutes les valeurs dont on parle ici au Canada. Et qu'est-ce que le gouvernement canadien, canadien est en train de faire? C'est en train de faire un accord pour l'échange avec un tel gouvernement, un tel pays. C'est inacceptable mes amis, c'est inacceptable parce que quand notre gouvernement ici essaie de promouvoir les relations économiques, ça veut dire que la population canadienne accepte ces injustices. Et nous sommes ici pour dire que la population canadienne n'a déjà n'a déjà pas accepté de telles injustices. Parce que la population canadienne veut que le gouvernement soit une voie pour la justice, l'égalité et la paix dans le monde. What our government is doing now is engaging in active trade negotiations with a regime that has permitted and promoted acts which are totally reprehensible and unacceptable here in Canada and to Canadians. And you have to ask yourself, what does Mr. Harper mean when he says that he wants to defend human rights around the world? What, what can he possibly actually mean? Because the course that he's following, very much in line with a course we've seen for years out of the White House and the Bush administration, is not a course designed to protect human rights. Because if it was, they would have stopped negotiating a trade deal with the regime in Colombia. And that is exactly what they should do, and they should do so starting right now. I remember Mr. Harper saying when he was in opposition that every trade agreement should come to the House of Commons for a vote. If this trade agreement came to the House of Commons for a vote, that would give an opportunity for Canadians to speak through their representatives. And that's the way it should be. We tried to hold hearings on uh, this trade deal before a standing committee of the House of Commons so that some of you and some who know from direct experience what has been going on in Colombia could come and speak on the public record. But unfortunately, Both the government and the official opposition blocked our attempts to have open hearings on the Columbia deal. Why? Because they prefer that it be kept secret. They prefer to help out the powerful interests, the big oil and gas companies, the mining companies, to whom they give tax reductions and subsidies and benefits all the time. And they would prefer that a trade agreement could go ahead so as to benefit these companies. And they wrap it up all in the language of economic development. Well, if that means millions of people are removed from their land, if that means that 
of large corporations move in and set up plantations where communities used to be and indigenous peoples used to be able to uh, to live then we want no part of that kind of so-called economic development that's economic exploitation that's what that is mes chers amis nous sommes ici en solidarité and we stand with you on this day of protest but we're probably going to have to protest many many more times given the reaction that we're getting inside these walls. So make your voices loud. Ne lâchez pas. Remember the faces that we see here on these posters and the thousands more like them. Decent, hardworking people trying to keep their culture and their communities alive and thriving in a sustainable way, in a way where their rights are, are, are uh, respected. I salute you. I salute the CLC and everybody who's come together in this struggle, and we will stand with you right through to the end. Merci beaucoup.